Yo guys, how we doing? I just wanted to jump on and do a quick video today. Um, I was having a chat with one of my clients the other day and he was talking about wanting to go out and doing running, all right? which is cool, so I get it. Um, you know, if running's your thing and you want to run and you've got a reason to run, for example, you you compete in races or you want to compete in races, then yes, you need to go and run, all right? But he was looking at it from a weight loss perspective. Now, again, that's okay. You're going to lose a bit of weight and you are definitely going to burn some calories. However, studies have shown that when you run or when you use cardiovascular exercise, uh, only cardiovascular exercise as a means of weight loss, you're actually reducing not only your fat, but you're also using muscle mass. So you're losing a bit of muscle mass in there as well. So instead of, yes, you're going to lose weight, but it's a combination of both fat and muscle mass, which is what, what not really what we want to have. Right? That's why you see a lot of people that are what we call skinny fat. Uh, they do a lot of running. Um, they, they tend not to lose a lot of weight, or they do lose a lot of weight, but they've still got a bit, of, a bit of body fat hanging around them. Right? So, I would say probably the best um, way of changing your body composition and getting yourself a bit more kind of muscularly defined, if you will, or having a better looking body, if that's your goal, is to add some kind of resistance training in there. So it doesn't have to be lifting weights in the gym. So I get it as a dad, sometimes it's not the easiest to just piss off to the gym all the time. Um, I actually stopped going to the gym because it was a, a two hour round trip for me. So I now train exclusively at home. I do use some weights. I've got my own dumbbells and stuff that I use. Um, but I do a lot of body weight exercise, right? And body weight exercise counts as resistance training. So you don't have to be going to the gym and doing all the, the, the crazy stuff that's in the gym. Although I do miss it. I've got to say I do miss it. I can't do deadlifts. I can't do uh, barbell squats. But I'm able to kind of supplement that in other ways at the moment, all right? Until things kind of change home-wise. So I do understand, all right? But there are options for you. So if you don't have any weights, um, if you don't have things that you can do resistance training with uh, at your disposal at home, You've got your own body, all right? So you can use your body weight. You can do push-ups. You can do squats. If you've got a, you, you know, if you don't have a pull-up bar, you can jam a towel in between your door and do some rows, all right, to get your back working. All right, there's a, there's a multitude of things that you can do, and that's honestly going to give you more of a bang for your buck in terms of your body composition than just going out running alone, all right? Because then you're going to be burning off muscle mass as well. So. Um, just you know, just just a wee bit of food for thought. As I say, if if running is something that you need to do because you're going out to run race, then it comes down to that kind of law of specificity. If you want to get better running, you have to run. But with that being said, I really don't do any running. I do enjoy running, but I really don't do it. And I went out for a run maybe two months ago. Um, with no running at all. All I do is some hit training at home. I go to boxing once a week, karate once a week, and I was able to bat out five k no problem. So you know, of course, I couldn't just go out and run a marathon tomorrow, but you know, depending on what your goals are. If you want to be running marathons, then yes, of course, you have to be going out and running, all right? So um, if it's just for a weight loss, if you're just looking to lose some weight, if you're looking to lose some body fat, then I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you stick in some resistance training of some sort um, to get to get a maximum benefit from that, all right? And it does, I say, it doesn't have to be weights. You can use your own body weight, all right? And you're still going to get some incredible results, all right? So if you want to get a program put together that works for you, if you're not really sure how to do it and you think the running is the best way to go about it, give me a shout, let me know what it is you're struggling with the most, let me know what your weight is, let me know how much you're looking to lose and then we can get together and put a plan together that suits you and your lifestyle to hopefully move you towards your goals that wee bit faster. Alright, have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.